Joining us right now to talk more about the markets and what to expect is Allianz and Gramercy advisor Mohamed El Arian. He's also the president of Queens College, Cambridge. Uh, Mohamed, what are you thinking right now? Are, are you nervous about where things stand? Are you feeling pretty good about things? What would you do? So I feel pretty good in the short term for the reasons that I've shared with you over the last few months. And it speaks directly to what Mike just said. Boring markets tend to be positive markets. So what's boring? People are very comfortable with the global growth story. And every day we get reinforcement that global growth is picking up. People are comfortable with the notion that inflation is transitory. After all, we've been reassured of this over and over again by central banks. And people are comfortable that central banks will continue to be ultra supportive. So it's nothing has changed on all three. And even when there's been some doubt, like happened immediately after the FOMC meeting, we had top Fed officials come out and say, no, don't worry. That's why financial conditions are looser today than they were before the FOMC meeting. So as long as these three themes are reinforced, we will continue to see this positive momentum. Mohammed, we probably, well, I shouldn't say probably. Am I correct to think that the next issue with the Fed, the next time we'll be getting guidance from them, is, is in August from Jackson Hole? Yes, and the market expects that we will start getting some indications of what the tapering will look like. When will it start, at what pace, and what comes thereafter? I want to stress that the market has gotten very relaxed because the Fed man top management is very relaxed. If you actually were to look at the numbers on inflation, you would start having serious doubts in your mind as to how transitory the inflation is. But as long as the Fed believes it's transitory, that is what matters for markets. You've got to listen to what the top Fed officials are saying, even if you disagree in the short term with, with, with their judgment. The other thing I'd say is just when it comes to the economic growth picture, we've watched flare-ups of, of, of the pandemic, uh, watched new variants that have come on, and, and watched some governments react by saying that they're going to shut things down or extend some of the conditions they already had in place. The market doesn't seem bothered by that at all. Um, why do you think that is? So first, we are seeing things that are worrisome, and they have to do with the Delta variant. Um, Sydney in Australia, and Australia has had very low infection cases, put, locked down the whole city for two weeks because of Delta. Israel, which has had great success on vaccination, has reimposed the mask mandate indoors. The United Kingdom battling um, Delta has had pop-up vaccination centers all over and told people, you don't need to reserve, just vaccinate yourself. And the reason why is because Delta has shown to be the most infectious of the variant. Now, that's the bad news. The good news is that vaccination has significantly weakened the link to hospitalizations and death. And that's why the economic implications of the Delta variant are not as worrisome as we've had in the past. However, if you're not vaccinated, then you, you're facing higher risk because of Delta. I know it's the unknowns that we don't know about that people always worry about. What what does worry you? If, it, if we're kind of looking like it's all clear on most of the fronts you just described, what, what would you be on the lookout for? So the market certainly believes we're all clear because the top leadership of the Fed is telling us we're all clear. As I've shared with you before, I have concern about the inflation story. Every day, I see more evidence of inflation not being transitory. And I have concern that the Fed is falling behind and that it may have to play catch up. And history makes you very uncomfortable if, if you end up in a world in which the Fed has to play catch up. Normally, we end up with a recession because you have to slam on the brakes as opposed to slowly taking your foot off the accelerator, which is what I believe is going to happen. But so, so I am worried, but these are not day one issues. Mm -hmm. these, these are down the track because we're not going to have evidence and certainly not unambiguous evidence of the nature of inflation until well towards the end of the year. Mohamed, thank you. Have a great week Thank and we'll you, talk Beth. to you soon.
Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.